Hi, thanks for tuning in to Best Fruit Now. I'm Chef Theo Petron from Alame's own Personal Chef Service. Today, we're talking pineapples, specifically the gold or the extra sweet variety of pineapple. Now, this is the one you want to look for when you're at the store because it's less fibrous than other varieties. Things you want to look for in a pineapple, you want to make sure it's got a nice, shiny, firm texture. If it starts to get old, it's going to have this dull, kind of gray, musty look to it. So you want to avoid that. The other thing I like to do is just kind of give it a good sniff. It should have a nice, sweet smell. If it doesn't, set it back and keep moving on. People get a little intimidated about how to peel and chop up a pineapple. I'm going to show you two ways that you can accomplish this. First thing you want to do, regardless of the method, is take that top and give it a good twist and use it as a garnish. First method is using a good serrated knife. I like the serrated knife versus a flat edge knife because it's just going to allow you to saw a little bit more easily. So start by creating a flat surface by doing cutting off both ends as level as possible. Then stand your pineapple upright. Then taking the knife, let the knife do the work. Just slowly move your way down, rotate the pineapple. Keep doing this. You're going to Almost make a stop sign, maybe about eight passes through. And each time you do it, these little prickly guys will show you how deep to go so as not to uh, waste a lot of the good flesh. One more after this. And maybe two. All right, there. We've got a beautifully peeled pineapple. We've still got that core down the middle. So what you want to do is visualize that core and just cut down either side of it and then rotate it again. Voila, you've got your core to discard. Now we've got four pieces of beautiful pineapple that we can do whatever we want with them. So that's method number one. So the other way we could do this pineapple peeling method is with a gadget. I know I'm a chef, but sometimes a gadget is pretty handy. This is a pineapple core. So we want to start the same way. We want to twist that top off, and we want to create a flat edge on, on the top of the pineapple. Discard that, set it upright. Now this is kind of cool because it's going to core the pineapple for us. So we position that auger right over the core, and then using a little bit of muscle, we're just going to twist this and kind of feel the pineapple and when you feel it getting down towards the bottom you know you're there. You don't want to go all the way through. I suppose you could, but the other thing that's cool about this, you end up with a drink glass. I'll show you in a minute. And we pull up. We've got beautiful cord pineapple. Top comes off. Flip it over. Voila. It's all peeled for us and ready to go. See, we got a drink glass. Yummy. So I've showed you two different ways to cut up a pineapple. Now it's great by itself, I agree. But what we're going to do today is do something a little bit more special. We're going to do a grilled pineapple. Yes, you heard me right. Grilled pineapple with a rum sauce. Brown sugar rum sauce. It's kind of like a take on Bananas Foster, only using the pineapple. So we're going to get our stovetop grill going here. All right, so while our grill pan is heating up, we want to just quick run a knife through this pineapple and get some nice sections. We've got some half circles here that'll grill up beautifully. I'm thinking like six or eight per person. All right, so our grill pan is ready to go. I'm just going to take these pieces of pineapple and that's how you know you're going to get nice grill marks when you get that good sizzle right away. And this isn't going to take too long. This is a dry pan also. There's no reason to add any extra oils or anything to the pan. The natural sugars, because we got an extra sweet pineapple, remember. Those natural sugars are going to caramelize and give us those really great grill marks that we want. We're going to let this go for about three to four minutes a side. Now, while those are grilling on the other side, we want to start our rum sauce. So we've got a sauté pan over medium-high heat. We're going to melt about three or four tablespoons of butter. Once we've got our butter melted, we're going to add some brown sugar. It's about a quarter cup of brown sugar. 
just want to stir this around. You might want to lift it off the heat if it's a little hot. I'm going to mix this stuff together so we get kind of a, a luscious runny sauce. Once that sugar starts to dissolve a little bit and gets almost that glaze-like, we're going to add our rum. This is a point where you want to turn your heat off before you add the alcohol. We'll let that cool down a bit here. Turn off our pineapples. This would be a good time to grab your pineapples and just let them sit and simmer a bit in that rum sauce. Oh, I wish you could smell this. Now all we need is ice cream. So I've let the pineapple simmer in that rum sauce for about a minute, minute and a half, and now it's time to plate. We've got our lovely caramelized pineapple. Let's make a little design here on our plate. Do this family style. You want that pineapple to be just slightly wilted like it is. We're going to grab a generous scoop of vanilla ice cream. Put that right on top. Add some more of that rum sauce. Just drizzle it right on top. So with not too much effort, we've got a grilled pineapple dessert with a great rum sauce, some vanilla ice cream. It's that simple. I'm Chef Theo Petron from Malame's own personal chef service. Thanks for watching Best Fruit Now.